Hi, and welcome to Using Moodle. Moodle is a learning management system, and it's your online portal to Plants 101. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of the course, explain how to use the main features of Moodle, and offer some suggestions to help you make the most of your online learning experience. Let's get started. This is the main page of the course. To the left, you have the course content and activities, while to the right, you'll find different sidebar menus which are there to help you find your way around. We'll take a closer look at those later. For now, let's focus on the course content. Here in the introductory block, you have a link for contacting Elizabeth by email, as well as three forums which you may need to access frequently throughout the course. A forum is a discussion board where you can communicate with Elizabeth and with your fellow students. Each of these forums has a specific purpose. The news forum is for important announcements from the instructor. Plant chat is for general discussions and sharing resources. Did you read an interesting article about plants? Post the link. Do you have a question about a plant in your backyard? Post it and ask for feedback from your classmates. Finally, the help forum is where you'd post if you're having trouble accessing course materials or completing course activities. If you're having difficulty, it's likely that one of your peers can help. All course participants are automatically subscribed to both the News Forum and the Help Forum. This means anytime there's a post in either forum, you'll receive an email. Below the introductory module, you'll find the current week's assignments and activities. Complete the activities in order from top to bottom. To view an activity, just click on its title. Once you're done, you can either use your browser's back button or the breadcrumbs at the top of the page to return to the Plants 101 homepage. You can keep track of your progress in the course by adding a check mark to the box next to any assignment you've completed. In some cases, you'll notice that the check mark box has a dashed line around it. This means that it will automatically be marked as complete once you've finished the requirements for the activity. For instance, if the activity is a forum, like Assignment 1, Introduce Yourself, you'll be required to post before the activity can be marked complete. Note that you'll only see the activities for the current week of the course. Future weeks remain hidden until they're made available by the instructor. Now that you've gotten a feel for the course, let's take a closer look at the sidebars. The navigation block is designed to help you move through the course content without always coming back to the main page. Clicking the arrow next to a course module will show you all the activities and assignments in that module. Clicking on the title of an assignment will take you to that assignment page and you'll notice that the navigation block appears here too. So if I want to get from this assignment, how many plants have you eaten today, to the next assignment, I can get there in one click, just by clicking on the name of the next activity. It's important to note that if you want to get back to the course main page, don't click Home. Always click the title of the course, Plants 101. Home will actually take you out of Moodle to the New England Wildflower Society online learning homepage. If this happens to you, it's easy to get back in. Just hover over Courses and click Plants 101. You'll get right back to the course front page. Beneath the navigation sidebar, you'll find a couple of items that appear only on the front page. The first is Latest News which shows the most recent announcements from your instructor. And the second is recent activities, which will show you any new forum posts made by any of your classmates. As always, you can click on the title of the topic to be taken straight to the content. Toward the bottom of the sidebar area is the administration block, which you can use to change your profile settings. However, it's unlikely that you'll need to use these options very often and I recommend that you either keep this block minimized by clicking the minus sign or docked to the left by clicking the arrow. If 
you want to see your options again, you can just hover over the docked block and it'll show you everything you can do here. To undock it, simply click the arrow again. You can do this with any of the sidebar blocks that you find distracting. And finally, there's the search forums block, which also appears only on the front page. Typing a search term in the box will search all the discussion forums for the course and take you directly to topics that contain that word. The last thing I'd like to review is your profile. As long as you're logged into the course, you'll see your name in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Clicking here will bring up all your options, including Edit Profile, which is what we're looking at now. Here's your chance to personalize your profile and add some information to help your classmates get to know you. You might want to put the town that you live in, or maybe a brief description of what your interests are or why you're taking this class. I highly recommend that you upload a user picture. If you're uncomfortable using a picture of yourself, you can always use your favorite plant. The picture will be added to any post you make in a discussion forum and it's a nice way to personalize your interactions with your classmates. Once you've uploaded a photo, be sure to check out Preferences. This gives you some options for when and in what format you'll receive emails from the course. I recommend that you keep this option, Forum Auto Subscribe, on Yes. What this means is when you post to a forum and somebody responds to your post, you'll get an email with their response. I also recommend that you change forum tracking to yes. This will highlight new posts so that it's clear which forum posts you've read and which you haven't. Scroll to the bottom and click update profile to save your changes. And navigate back to Plants 101 when you're done. Thanks for joining me for this brief Moodle tutorial. In the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about forums. See you then.